Hi friends, welcome back to Quick Poetry Knowledge. This is Mehjubin. In today's video, I am going to take you through some important questions and answers related to George Herbert's poem, Discipline. What does the word discipline used in the title of the poem signify? The word discipline reflects the fear that God seems to drive into man in order to get human beings to submit to him. The title implies that God keeps man in a state of constant fear. Therefore, the word discipline reflects punishment or the danger of being punished. However, the poet begs God to give up this method of obtaining the surrender of human beings. Instead, God should influence man to obey him through his compassion and kindness. Throw away thy rod, explain these words in detail. The poet talks about God's rod which depicts authority and power. The rod is also symbolic of punishment. God uses the rod to make his people disciplined. Those who don't follow the will of God are punished with the rod just as parents might use a rod or a cane to punish their child. The poet implores upon God to discard his rod of punishment and adopt a softer approach while dealing with human beings who have sinned or faltered in their path. What are the things that the poet begs God to do in the opening stanza of the poem Discipline? The poet appeals to God to shed his anger. He requests God to adopt a soft and gentle way while dealing with erring human beings. For my heart's desire unto thine is bent. What is the desire in the poet's heart? The desire in the heart of the poet is to be in a harmonious relationship with the heart of God. I aspire to a full consent. What does the poet aspire? The aspiration of the poet is to live according to the wishes of God. He does not want to stray from the path of truth and goodness. Not a word or look I affect to own. What does the poet mean? The poet means to say that he does not pretend to have an unlimited freedom as far as the use of his tongue or eyes is concerned. He cannot utter a single word or cast a single look without the approval of God. But by book and thy book alone, what does the poet wish to convey to God? The poet wishes to convey the message that both his words and his looks will be controlled by the will of God which is contained in the scriptures or the holy book. How does the poet make his way to the throne of grace? The poet says that even though he feels ineffective in his actions and ends up crying over his failures or disappointments, yet he feels that he is slowly, though haltingly, moving towards his exalted seat so as to seek God's grace. The poet tells God that he is approaching God with humility, thereby he hopes that God would treat him with mercy. Who can escape his bow? Explain these words. The poet means to say that nobody can escape the arrow shot from the bows of love. Scape means escape. Initially, love was defined as a man of war who could shoot from afar. Now love is like a bow from which arrows are shot at different targets. These are not violent arrows. These are arrows of love. With this, I come to the end of today's video. I have already uploaded two separate videos on a summary and explanation of this poem. Do check them out. And until the next time we meet again, bye.